not a Linux version 7 server body or what he is a lightweight uh, distribution that uses the Mokasha desktop. I'll be very honest with you, I'm not very familiar with it. And uh, it's the new version of Space and Ubuntu 2204. And uh, the previous 32 bit version, this uses Ubuntu 18 as a base and uses uh, this non P architecture. And of course, it is an enlightened Linux distribution. So basically, standard release. Uh, they also have a S76 uh, release here. But let's take a so. Vokshu desktop is it's a liberation release. It's a continuation of enlightened 70 desktop environment. And of course, has been backported as well. So it has a bunch of themes, as you can see. So instead of just looking at themes, let's take a look at the environment. It is important to know that uh, Voxia desktop is available on Ubuntu and Debian, amongst other distros. Much space, about two gigs of memory, a processor, cores. And hard drive, let's start it up. Okay, and so let's uh, install it. So, let's uh, so doing this. Uh, check on updates, uh, third party software for graphics, that's fine. The race just can install, that's right. Uh, we're happy it's gonna install this ext4. Our entries is correct. And you look at its physical files. And of course, here is the standard uh, slideshow. Welcome up, buddy. The App Center it's documentation community. And that it's a non profit organization. So I'm going to let this store and come back when it's finished. Actually, very quick. We'll start now. Let's see what I'm Wow, that was quick. Okay, and here we are. Let me first try to fix the resolution. That's a different type of tool. Okay, so this is the body Linux that uh, are installed out the box. And very clean, really not too much is pre-installed here. Looking at the menu here, of course, uh, applications, leaf pad, which is a basic text editor. And they've got preferences and monitor settings, which I basically didn't figure out uh, how to use that. References, graphics, uh, ethos, uh, which is a image viewer, an uh, internet, Chrome, web browser, web browser. As oh, is cool, which other web browser you want to install? Slimjet. I hate the Slimjet. You're like, oh, well, let's install Slimjet. Yes. R thread. Where you'd like this option here, which more browsers would have this web browser option on the box. But of course, it does come pre installed with Chromium web browser, which is great. So we can make sure to get something out of the as well. Uh, quick start, Mr. Week software. So this is the local manual that they've got, which is really pretty cool. Slim Peak Slim Jack browsers installed. Yes. Different type of a browser. So I'm going to pass audio. And system tools for App Center helped synaptic so uh, and settings, what mode, gadgets that you can add desktop gadgets. I'm thinking there. Okay, so we have a clock there. 
So, what if I say eyeball? I'd catch it. Ah, oh, he, yeah, he's a eyeball. Cool. Everything starts there. No idea what that actually does. Settings. Um, there's a bounce. That's the gadgets. Added gadgets. Okay, that's pretty, pretty cool. That modules. So let's do. Well, it's CPU frequency. You know that module. And it's subway. CAD files. We want desktop icons to load. Launcher. Or settings. It's a really interesting uh, type of settings things that we've got going on here. Plus it. Key bindings, shortcut. That's pretty cool. It's just keep launcher. Graphics. Out. Upgrade. System tools. And then it shows everything. Okay, that's something. Configure everything and for right click in the third applications. So. All right, click contents. Okay, so if I do this, I give some of these options. Oh, okay, that's where the CPU frequency thing went. You move the get to run, the PM app. So highlight, make it app favorite. So let's say Chromium options. No, cheats. Okay, that's the settings. Then we again. And then system. Yes. Okay, bit some. Go to the app store and start with some apps. The application was able to work. Okay. Interesting. Let's uh, look up a terminal. Which we don't have. Okay, so let's be fair, mark all the upgrades, lock them, and apply them. So I'm gonna do some upgrades first, and then uh, how should we the Axtel then will work with our this year. Okay, these trees have been applied. Let's do a quick uh, reboot. So stand be raped. Body app center and it felt to start with the wire. Pity. Okay, well, on here on this side, of course, we have stereo, bank settings, notification area, clipboard, network settings, and we would install a piece of software, so. Uh, except the terminal. So we need to install that. Lock that. My store. Yay, if I a terminal. Awesome. So I'm looking to do a. It's. Fetch. No, it's. Super app. Your fetch. or uh, installed great uh no that's why i've seen it's basically boot three two or four so great uh just really it's also to a pseudo app being storage okay and it's using only 326 minutes of memory wow and how do you need any cpu usage so so what you want but for a Older machine and something that's lightweight. This is absolutely okay. awesome. Uh, quick in works cool this thing. So if you use this for well, if you want to really clean and uh, minimal environment and you like old um, enlightenment desktop environments and you want the new update moksha, then why not use it? Or if you have a workstation that's a limited memory. Or you want them to be as mean as possible, but still using an Ubuntu base. Uh, Party 7 is for you. So, that's if you use this, you have comments or something you missed out, 
let me know. As always, thank you for watching.